hey guys in this video we are going to be talking about three ways to know if you have a good project either in javascript python and ruby java c sharp whatever you're using if it's for your portfolio you need to be watching this right now so let's get started guys all right my name is joe santos garcia aka joe aka codingphase.com make sure you subscribe make sure you like this video leave a comment let me know what else do you guys think or if you like this video or whatever right so let's get started okay number one would a company or a client pay for you to build it okay so yes you're building a project for your portfolio okay now is this something that somebody will pay you to do now you're probably asking yourself why is this important why because the person that's gonna hire you is gonna look at it and say this project that this person has shows his skills and is valuable to us because we will pay for that type of service okay it doesn't matter if it's a client that's watching uh, your project or looking at your project or or an employer that's looking to hire you okay they need to see that you have a project that they would pay money for okay and that's why you're gonna get the job if you have that all right if you don't have then you just have like a random javascript calculator unless you you are planning to apply to texas instruments right a javascript calculator is not gonna do anything for you okay and if you're showing up with a little snake game that's not gonna do nothing for you okay i'm telling you guys ahead of time so make sure you have real projects maybe something like an e-commerce store maybe like a inventory management system uh maybe something that a business will pay for okay so <laughs> breaking it down it's that simple if nobody's gonna pay you to do it don't put it in your portfolio right don't put that project there now guys I want you guys to stick with me okay watch this whole video you're gonna get a lot of gems okay you must watch this whole video number two user experience what does that mean right try it out give it to another person give it to your girlfriend give it to your friend give it to your mom give it to your little brother give it to your little cousin your son whoever it is let them try out your application if they are lost and they don't know how to work around your application or whatever you're building you need to go in there and fix the user experience make it simple because a company that's going to look at your projects, they're going to be like, well, this doesn't look good, right? This this is not working properly. Why is the uh, the button to submit at the top left? Like, I've seen crazy things like that. And it's like, guys, I understand a lot of you guys want to focus on the functionality of things. But your projects need to look good. And remember, it's for a user. A user is supposed to know his way around things. If you don't understand user experience, look at other people's applications. Look at other people's websites and look at what they did right follow what they're doing the reason why they're doing it that way is because it works for a user is a easier experience to find their ways around there okay if a company comes in and looks at your por uh, your project your your portfolio and they look at something that is completely crazy and be like yo why is the menu in the middle of the screen and you gotta press a bro nobody does it like that there's a reason why they don't do it like that the user experience is trash so don't put that project inside of your portfolio okay number three were you challenged at any moment building this project okay what do i mean by that right if you have done for example if you have done a blog right and for your uh, portfolio right portfolio project and you did one block and then you did another project which is also a block and then another one that's another block right you've done the same project constantly okay it doesn't show your range of skills right it shows you're comfortable building blocks that's it it's the same thing as the guy that shows up and be like well i only got an inventory management system that's green and then i have another one inventory management system that's blue and another one that's red it doesn't show your range of the different things that you can build okay so always remember if you're not being challenged right once you build something once and then the second one you're not getting challenged right that means you don't need to put that project inside of your portfolio number four can you explain right what how and why you use the things you use on this project what do i mean by that right i see a lot of times people want to use things like react i see people want to use the latest framework so they might use uh something that's brand new 
right? But they have no idea why they added it to their project. What benefits did it give their project? And they can't explain why they used it. You get what I'm saying? So when you go to the job interview and they start asking you, hey, oh, that's great. You're using React. Oh, why do you use React over Angular? And then you'll be like, um, um, and like uh, saliva is coming down your face and you're like, um, I, I, I saw it in a top 10 YouTube videos. Uh, I think that's the way that we need to go. You need to be able to explain why you are using it, right? And, and, and understand why you used it. What was it that you used and how you used it? Okay. So you got to explain that. If you can't explain that, that project's no good for you. Okay. Cause that means that you either follow somebody on a course or you pretty much just copy and paste to somebody else's code, which means they're not going to hire you. Okay. Number five, is it complete? Okay. You're probably asking yourself, well, Joe, what do you mean? Is it complete? I've seen so many people come up with portfolio, right? And they, they have their projects in there halfway done, halfway done, meaning that the padding is off. Uh, the application doesn't work that good. I've seen people in interviews where they, <laughs> I'll never forget this. We was hiring a, a new a developer in one of the last companies I was working at and this guy came in and was like, oh, don't press that button. It'll break the application. So why is this thing on your portfolio? Why are you showing up this? You get what I'm saying? Like, why are you showing up this, this application if that button there is going to break the whole application? I've seen things happen like this all the time, bro. And people send me portfolios where they show up with projects that are not even done. They have one front page. Every other link in, on the website doesn't work. Or they have a slider that is like, oh, wait, wait, wait. Don't don't press the slider three times because on the fourth time, it's going to break. What? So why is this on your portfolio? You want to put in on your portfolio the best of the best, the best things that you have. This is like your resume. This is like your uh, presentation. This is what you want to show to the world. Okay. It doesn't matter if you're doing JavaScript, Python, Ruby, Go, Java, C sharp, C plus plus C, whatever, right? <laughs> whatever comes out after F sharp, whatever comes up, right? It doesn't matter what you have your portfolio or, or what you're specializing in. You want to have something that's legit, guys. You want to have something that's complete that when they look at your portfolio, they say, holy shoot, this guy knows what he's doing. We want to hire him. Okay. So once again, this is the top five. We're going to give it to you one more time. Would a company or client pay you to build that project, right? So don't show up with a JavaScript calculator. Don't show up with a little snake game. Don't show up with a hangman. Nobody's hiring you to do that. Okay. So I'm telling you right now, don't put that user experience. Can the user and whoever is going to look at this application or, or, or go over this application, can they find their way through the application and understand what the application is for from the jump without having to, for you to do a whole video explaining, like if you have to do a video explaining how to use the application, that's a bad application, period. I'm telling you right now. Number three, were you challenged at any moment building the project? Okay. Don't build something all the time that you're already super comfortable with. You want to come in and, and, and challenge yourself every time that you knew you do a new project so you can show your range of skills. Okay. Number four, can you explain how and why you used the things that you use on the project? Okay. It could be a language, could be a framework, could be a library, could be a something, whatever you use on that project, you should be able to explain what you use, how you used it and why you used it. Okay. Then number five is a complete. Just make sure that whatever's on your portfolio is something complete, guys. Don't put no half-ass jobs in there, okay, or projects, right? Just make sure that everything is good, okay? So, yeah, man, I hope you guys like this, okay? Let me know in the comments below. Leave a comment, guys. This is how I know if you liked it or not. If you hated it, say, I hated it, right? If you say, I loved it, 
I loved it. Or if you survive to the end, put in, hey, I survived, Joe. I'm a survivor. Okay. Shout out to every single person who survives to the end. I love you guys. Stay tuned. Guys, by the way, if you're looking to learn how to code and you want to get every single thing that you need to become a really professional developer and get hired as soon as possible. Okay. Make sure you go to codingphase.com. Okay. Go try it out. You can start for free. You can start to register. Okay. You pretty much get some savings if you go through the description. By the way, if you don't go through the description, you, come on, you you losing out on money. Go through the description, save some money, get that coupon code, and check out codingphase.com. Okay, it's the best website that's out here. Okay, I freaking work hard every single day to make sure I give you guys the best of the best. Currently, right now, we are building an application in React Native. Okay, this is a real application that we have here. Okay. So pretty cool. Now, some of you guys might say, Joe, it's, it's a task, right? To do, to do app. Yes and no. There's so many different features we're adding to this application that it's no longer a to do app. We just call it a task manager, right? So anyways, man, I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. If you want to see real projects, real applications, go check out codingphase.com. Learn how to code, right? It's the most consistent way to generate wealth is to learn to, how to code, right? That's just how it is. It's the most consistent way. If you are out here and you're not learning how to code, you're looking at a very grim destiny, very grim future for you. Okay. Learn how to code kids. Okay. I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again. Codingphase.com. Peace.